everybody and welcome to another exciting issue. It is not your dad, it is not my dad, but it is the Mad Dad, aka The Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden NFL 13 football, kicking off with a bang. Show 253, we are talking Washington Redskins, three-headed rushing attack today, and uh, Z Farles was at the game yesterday watching the Giants take down RG3 and the Redskins. It was a crazy game, to say the least. And, uh, you know, let's take a look at what the first couple things we're going to show today uh, about the Redskins uh, playbook in the three-head rushing attack. Uh, they have a lot of different formations that you could definitely use uh, t to actually run a three-head rushing attack or run up the middle to the left and right. So we take a look. Uh, we, a lot of formations, you have iForm Pro. You got to like that they have an iForm Close. That's unique. That's only going to be found in a couple other playbooks, I believe. You uh, go to Joe Gibbs, if you go to, uh, what's the other one, Houston Texans, you're going to find eye close in those playbooks, and that's about it in this game, and then the Redskins playbook. Take a look at Strong Close, of course we know that's one of our favorite formations. Love that formation, Strong Close, you actually have uh, off tackle, slip screen, quick toss. One thing this uh, playbook doesn't have is the counter weak, so that's going to kind of kill this formation for us. They don't have really that solid run to the left that we like, although they do have some nice passing plays. Love wide trail. Love that off tackle from this formation as well. I mean, you could make it work, but it's, you know, for, you know, for my money, I'm not going to go with that formation. Uh, I form close. We'll take a look at what they have here. You see the zone weak. We see they have an ISO. My issue with this as being like a true power running formation is it has auto motion for some of their effective runs. So you see the stretch here, you see the light blue on the line for the square here. That, that's going to be auto motion, so that's going to be a tell. I mean, you could combo that with the counter, which would be nice, and then you could also combo it with skin's pitch, but the problem is the, the auto motion isn't the same for skin's pitch, stretch, and counter. So that's where we run into a problem with this formation. Um, I, I will say that you can combo the ISO in the halfback zone weak, so let's take a look at that. Let's see what we can use. So this is, would be, you know, you could set this as one audible. So if you come out in the zone weak, you have the ability now to run the ball to the left side of the field. And you can see you can take it up inside or you can take it off tackle. Uh, and then the run audible down, oops, I audible that, but the run audible down from that formation is the ISO. So now you have a run to the left and a run to the right. And you can also playmaker uh, the zone weak to the right, which will give you kind of an off tackle style run to the right side of the formation. But you can see how, you know, you can combo those two runs. And that's, that's a nice one audible, and you kind of have a solid rushing attack. What's also great about this formation, it, you have the guys compressed inside. So one of the things a lot of guys are doing this year is using base align on defense to set up their plays. So what's going to happen is if they do base align their defense, notice how the defenders are aligned wide of the receivers. So if they do base align and you catch them off guard in a passing situation, you can snap, throw these balls to the inside receivers and you can see how effective that is. One of the... It, it, one thing that guys are going to have to do to uh, adjust is to fix their defense so they're not base on line. That's an extra step. It's going to take them out of their comfort zone, and you're going to catch them off balance. And that's kind of the key to what you want to do offensively. So kind of like I, the eye form close for that one reason. It's a, it's a great one audible to get a two two uh, two punch running attack here that you can use run left, run right. Uh, and the other formation I would definitely take a look at is I form normal. This would probably be my, my true power running attack. So if you take a look, you see we have... The inside zone, I love that. I'll tell you why in a second. And we have the halfback stretch. Of course, that's great. The ISO weak, ice, uh, the halfback toss. But let's take a look. If we come out in that stretch play, and the defense again comes out, we just do two men under its base style formation. And what I like about this is that you have an outside, a, a true dedicated outside run with the stretch. We know we're going to get the double teams that we love, and then we're going to get the kick blocks out wide. So you can see how effective that is. Alfred Morris does not have great breakaway speed. He does have 94 trucking, which makes him an absolute stud muffin in between the tackles. But you take a look here. Snap. You can run the ball outside. You get the kick, blo uh, kick bo block, the kick up field block with the fullback and the tight end as they release off the line of scrimmage, which is going to help seal off the edge and, and allow you to get big, big yards in the run game. So here, here's a double team. There's a double team on the guard. You're going to see that Fred Davis, he actually peels off and doesn't go for the double team. He just goes straight to the next level. So you get the double team, and then we have the center now. He's going to uh, kick up to get the middle linebacker. Quick double team. Actually, the tutter didn't double team him. I thought he would there. He didn't, but he peeled off the next level. And then now you can see we have our upfield blocks occurring. We have one free blocker, our fullback, who's going to go upfield, kick out wide. He gets a key block right there that allows us to get a couple extra yards so that that defender can't take us down. Now, the runnable down is that inside zone. And what makes this 
style of combination of run so effective is your opponent's going to really have to kind of dedicate a lot of defenders out in this flat area to take down this stretch. And then they're going to have to use the free safety here uh, to shoot through the gap. Now, if you use the inside zone in combination with this stretch, you're going to have a double team run on the inside part of the offensive line. You could still take this one outside, but it's more so designed to run up in, in between the offensive tackle. So the snap of the ball, now I can cut left or right. My, my job there is to read the middle linebacker. And a lot of times you're going to have a, a user defender would sort of be that middle linebacker player. But my job is to read the inside blocks. So you see here, now I see there's a lot of congestion on the outside. Fred Davis right there, he loses containment. Now my job here is to either follow the fullback right there, 36, or cut it left in there between that hole where you see right there. Problem is that congestion right there behind the fullback and I, I'm afraid if you know if I run that way I'm gonna kind of run into those guys so what I do is I run here and I cut hard right there left and now I, I fire up through the, uh, the middle of the field use that trucking of Alfred Morris and try and pick up yards so you can see how you can combo this stretch run and the inside zone to get a really so to get a solid uh, rushing attack inside and outside so here's again I read that block read that block and again I, I cut late so that was a poor run by me but again you want to read is my tight end going to hold the line is my tight end holding holding he held there and now he actually pancaked the guy and that's where I'm going to cut the run outside and cut it off tackle I'll go and take a look at that instant replay so you can see what that means so here this time watch see Fred Davis has the push see how the defender isn't able to push him back off the line of scrimmage and now because of that I'm going to follow that run off tackle here and I'm going to pick up about five yards so that's what that's your first read on this run is that edge sealed off by my tight end. If not, I got to cut it back inside and then the question is do I follow the fullback or do I cut it left and go up the middle of the formation. So here it is. Now I'm going to cut back up the middle of the field because the tight end lost the containment and now that forces me to go back inside. So one more time show you what that looks like. So here Fred Davis, watch, see how Fred Davis gets chucked by the defender. No way am I going to cut that run out to the right there because if I do I'm going to be in trouble. So I have to, I'm forced to cut it back up inside and watch my fullback. My fullback gets taken out so I can't follow him so I'm, my only other way I can run this ball is just use his 94 trucking and get up in the muck and try and pick a, uh, a couple garbage uh, garbage yards up. Excuse me, I think I just ate a fly. Um, the other thing now you can do with this formation is you can playmaker the run to the left. And what I like about this is, you know, we're not going to have the true dedicated blocking that we have if we run on, on the tight end side, but we can still catch our opponent off guard. So you can see we still get the seal on the on the outside edge. We don't have that extra defender to peel uh, peel off and get to the next level to take down like the the user safety in this uh, scenario. But you'll see we still are able to pick up positive yards. So our our tackle is going to hold the edge. They're going to do a much better job holding the edge than a tight end. And then our fullback's responsibility is to get that next outside defender. And then it's up to Alfred Morris and our user skills to kind of make a play to pick up yards. And you can see Alfred Morris, big back, trucks, London, Fletcher, one of the best middle linebackers in the game. And we pick up about five, six yards there. So now you can see how we playmaker that run to the left. And now we can use the inside zone, playmaker that left. And again, same scenario. We're going to either cut it up left or we're going to cut it back inside. So here's a snap of the ball. Alfred Morris finds a huge gaping hole off the left edge and we pick up huge yards from this formation. Probably my favorite formation from this playbook. Here's a good idea that you could do. Go into your audibles um, and do this because I kind of like the combination of, of the two. And typically if we're going to have a three-headed three -headed rushing attack, we're actually going to use two audibles. So if we go to iForm Pro and we set the halfback stretch as one audible, and then we go to iForm Close, we could set halfback zone weak as one audible. So now we have two formations we can run out of. Halfback zone weak is a little bit more dedicated to run to the left side. Halfback stretch a little bit more dedicated to the right side. And if you're really looking to get crazy in the run game, if you really want to be a power running running uh, offense, let's take a look at the ace stretch. Uh, let's see if there is one. If there is one, it's a no-brainer. It's a great play. One of the best plays in the game. Ace stretch is there. Halfback dive. You have a sprint, which is nice. What else do we have? Uh, close pitch. Close stretch. That is awesome right there, by the way. Uh, close stretch, let's talk about that real quick. Let's talk, because if you combo this close stretch with some of the passing plays from this formation, so here, obviously you know that the stretch is going to be a great run. You could just use this as your one run. And then what I would recommend is, is to go out and use one of these other plays as an audible for a passing situation. I got really excited about this because this is nice. Um, you take a look at, say, we got close bench, stick, I like bench, but I like close drag better. 
let's, I mean, here's why you can motion out Morgan and motion out Garcon, and they're going to get inside releases against man-to-man -man coverage right there, and you can see that's a nice little way to beat man-to-man. -man. And you also are going to have that corner route to Paul, which we know against man-to-man, -man, he's going he's gonna to beat them against man-to-man -man on that cut. That wasn't a very good cut, but that's why I would, I would kind of maybe consider this maybe over the eye close, maybe put the stretch here or from single back ace. Your decision, but I mean, we'll break down the quick passes and we can decide which one's better for tomorrow's show. That's going to be show 254, 254. Guys, don't forget, uh, available right now, we just came out with our starter and tournament offensive specialized guides. Uh, the starter guide breaks down the Kansas City playbook in what Falls and I consider to be the best under center formation in the game. That is the Kansas City ace pair chief. This formation is phenomenal. You have the halfback stretch, which we love. Combo that with the halfback slam, which is the quickest developing run in all of Madden 13. This under center formation is going to make your life easy because we have quick passes to the left, right. You can run right. Can run left you can attack downfield this is going to open up your entire offense and this is just the starter guide it's awesome it's great you can use it and combo that with our tournament offensive guide the new york giants playbook we have the best base play in the entire game giant slot trail this i mean this play you could probably run all, all game we say there's no money plays in madden but this is the closest thing we have to a money play that exists in today's online world online uh you wild wild west if you want to call it giant slot trail from the gun normal wing new york formation is a phenomenal great play uh and, and those just came out if you want to purchase those great price right now 9.99 you can go over to maddentips.com right now pick those guides up or you could even get the winner's kit you get all of our guides available a lot of things going on right now z files and i are just Pounding out playbooks, pounding out tips, giving you free stuff that you can take your game to the next level. We're excited to be here, excited to help you as you approach to become a better Madden player. But as always, guys, I couldn't do it without you. Couldn't. Because you and me, together, we are changing the Madden community, and we are doing it one snap at a time.